eight things commonly preached, but not in the Bible. In Christian circles, certain concepts and teachings are often believed and preached as if they were directly from the Bible, though they aren't explicitly found in Scripture. The first commandment, often misquoted as, love God above all things, the Bible actually commands to love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and mind. Matthew 22, 37, 38, Mark 12, 30. This misinterpretation can dilute the comprehensive nature of the command. God blesses the cheerful giver. While 2 Corinthians 9, 7 says, God loves a cheerful giver. It does not promise material blessings as a reward for giving. The focus is on the attitude of the heart, not on a guarantee of material return. The church as a physical building. The term church in the Bible refers to the community of believers, not the physical building 1 Corinthians 12, 27. The true church is a spiritual entity, not confined to a location. Take care of yourself, I will take care of you. This phrase is not found in the Bible. While scripture assures God's care and protection, Psalm 121, 3, 5, it does not imply a conditional relationship based on self-care. God looks only at the heart. While 1 Samuel 16, 7 emphasizes that God values internal qualities over outward appearances, this does not mean outward actions and appearances are irrelevant. The Bible also stresses the importance of our actions, Matthew 7, 20, 1 Peter 3, 3, 4. Money is the root of all evil. The Bible actually states, the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil, 1 Timothy 6.10. It is the excessive desire for wealth, not money itself, that leads to harmful behaviors. Not a leaf falls without God's will. While this phrase is not in the Bible, it reflects a belief in God's sovereignty. Matthew 10.29 speaks to God's knowledge and control over creation, but does not mention leaves specifically. Declare the word. The practice of declaring or decreeing things to happen is not biblically supported. James 1.22 encourages being doers of the word, focusing on obedience and faith rather than mere declarations. Psalm 91 is one of the most powerful prayers in the Bible, offering blessings of protection and breaking many bonds in your life. It can also bring a protective blessing to your home and family. Today, let's pray Psalm 91 together and trust that God will bless us greatly. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you make the Most High your dwelling, even the Lord who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you, no disaster will come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra, you will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him, I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen.